Oh, that flip grease everywhere. <laughs> All right, today's adventure is my wood splitter. For everybody that thought my lathe was dangerous, you're gonna love this one. It's got a Chevy straight six on it out of a Nova. Comes into a turbo 350 trans. And then back here to this stickler wood screw. Originally, you were supposed to bolt these onto your truck, like take your tire off, jack it up, put this on it, and it would split your wood. But I built it into this. They work 10 times better than a hydraulic splitter. This one's bent. I wedged a big old chunk of cottonwood in here and bent the spindle. So I gotta cut the whole back end off. And I got some parts from Brian Mirat from Demolition Derby stuff. This is the tail housing piece. I won't bend that and ruin it anymore because the tail housing's all wore out and it's leaking oil. And then we're gonna use the CV axle to hook everything together. We'll get after it. We've got some random size bolts in here. That hasn't been worked on for, for a few years. We'll fix it right this time. Now I got a lathe. We can actually make all this stuff nice and true and work better. That's just a normal three quarter ton truck hub. We're gonna fix that. She's gonna be a, a Dana 80. Something with a whole lot more beef on the back end of it. Cause this one broke, or it bent. Like that, tilt. We may even chuck that up in the lathe and fix it a little so it's a little through. We'll see how ambitious we get. I'm gonna cut this axle off. Chop that off so I can pull that out. We can get it dismantled. I got to tell you, we got land behind the camera. He's gimping around on one foot still, but he's here. We'll get him healed up and then we can get back on his truck. All right, one axle. A little tweakified, but it's out. Oh, wow. That's why she was leaking. I think we had some binding issues. It's not supposed to have a big old giant gat. She didn't like that. <laughs> for a rebuild now. Yeah, that's pretty much junk. So what we're gaining here is this tail housing actually has a double roller bearing in it. So when it puts a little side load on it, it'll take it instead of just warp a little bushing that's in the other ones. It's gonna be nice to run if you don't have to put oil in it every time you wanna run it. That's how I could tell I was about done splitting wood before smoke could start coming out of that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this thing cut apart and see if we can't make it work, but I'm not sure that these pliers are tough enough to do that. That's some good looking plunder in there. That's pretty gross. <laughs> Rag. Wow, does not want to move. <laughs> broke, broke, broke a ball out of it. Mm, the rubber's a little more gimme. There we go. Now we just got to cut that off. Off of there, and then, I can... then you can straighten it up. Maybe it's thicker than I thought. <laughs> it's melting them right off. Got it. Everyone gives me a hard time about the grinder stuff getting down on here, but this thing covers it all up, really. I can 
weld that around there. And she's built perfect. That looks square, doesn't it? It's pretty true and true and straight right there. Turned out pretty fair. Couldn't weld one little piece because the bolt's got to be in there, but it'll be good. That is grease. <sighs> Clean up on aisle nine. Matt came to visit us today. What are you I doing? Did. He's they already stopped up. me from picking this up, but I would have walked right in and picked <laughs> it up if they hadn't said anything. Very warm. Yeah, you could cook a hot dog right now if you wanted to. <laughs> Three of them just dropping yeah, right in drop there. Yeah. Little hole. Jason just came and got a haircut and he asked me, was Darwin, is he really sleeping in those videos? I'm like, dead to the <laughs> world. So what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to go up to Paul's shelf and get my favorite chair. Yeah. Have <laughs> then I got to put it back together and figure the rest of it out. And then Michelle can split wood. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is basically my drive shaft. That's going to hook to there. This is going to couple onto a piece of axle, kind of like this, but not bent. And then the screw will go behind that. Seems easy, doesn't it? All right, today in the shop. We got a lot going on. See, we still got that in here. The wood splitter has taken priority over that because it's gonna get cold and we need some wood split. So now we're back on it today. We gotta build the back end of it. I gotta stretch it out two feet. I got the axle cut off. I gotta take the hub off of it. And we're just in the process right now of building a coupler to hook the axle to the CV shaft. So that's what we're gonna do now. This is some transmission part. I don't know what it is, it was just in my container. So we're gonna mill this out or machine this out to fit over that. We'll weld it around that and then we'll slide the axle in it. Weld that end in. We'll be winning. Broke the last one, I remember now. I wish I wouldn't have cut that. <laughs> Change of plans. I'm leaving that. I'm gonna cut that off right there and machine that out to fit it. Way smarter idea. <laughs> Yeah, we're about done with the coupler. I've got a finished pass on it. Get my manual feet going here. It's not so shabby. There it is. That'll go on CV and weld tight. All right, so I'm gonna end up cutting this off somewhere right there. It slips on there nice and tight. It's gonna be welded right around that to that. Axle will slide in this end of it. Should be good. Pretty close to how long we're gonna need this. I'll go 16 inches. Perfect. Yahtzee. I think we got wore the blade out on that last hard piece. There's not many feet left on it. You think we got her straight? It's an axle. They really aren't super true anyways. I've seen worse. Should slide right in there. Now that will fit right on there. Like nice and tight. Get welded down on there and that's called guten tight. And that should fit right in there, like so. Now it's time to go build the frame. Let's see if this blade's got enough left in it. Oh yeah, it's good. Something about like that. Grind the other side and put it in. Alright, I think she's welded on now. I get this all dealt with. I was real close to having that in. Use my favorite tool. That'll get it in there. Alright, that's bolted on. Well, we got ready to put this together and decided the spindles bend in the rear end that we're, we were going to use. It's tweaked bad. You can see that it's leaning. So, we spent most of the day getting it all fixed so that that would work and it's bent. 
figure something else out. Time for a new blade. Ah, there's still some teeth on the end. One axle down. Oh, no. Oh, I'm still on. <laughs> One ever <laughs> Don't need any of that stuff. Over here. There we got it. Junk now right we, there. We take this out and throw it in the dirt. Okay, I'm in the shop by myself. It's getting pretty late. I gotta get this done. We got the coupler all put in it. It's hooked into the motor. I think I'm gonna hook the controls up, fire this thing up, and see if it wobbles. We'll try it. All right, starting to come together. This is all put on. It's pretty straight, true. Haven't started it yet, I'm out of gas, so. We're gaining. Now I just gotta figure out how to attach this. So I want it close here at the front and then get wider. So if I get a piece of wood in there, it won't bend my spindle again like it did last time. So I'm engineering that now. Picked up a camera, man. Jace is in the shop now. Yeah. Say hi, Jace. Hey. There you go. This is going to be uh, first startup. <laughs> we ain't started for a day or two. Come on, Betsy. Come on, Betsy. No oil pressure yet. Come on, I need some oil pressure. There, we got oil pressure for a second. those yeah they just came off oh and it flipped grease everywhere well, that was that was bad it got it on my shoes that sucks plug it everywhere oh no well it works it doesn't vibrate things are good I'll finish it later and clean the grease up all right so last night I came home from work and finished this it's all done. Got my table put on it. We're gonna go give it a test run and see how it works. I know everyone's probably thinking I'm crazy and this is the most dangerous thing you've ever seen in your life, but really I've been running one of these since I was 12. My dad made me split on one forever. He, this is an automatic with a good old boat controller. Throttle, the shifter, all my switches turn it on and off. It's relatively safe. I mean, it's spinning. You know which way it's gonna turn. You don't put your hand underneath of it, it doesn't squish it. It's not that dangerous. Surely if I got caught on that, it's dangerous, but so is if you walk in front of a car. It's pretty dangerous too. I'll get a forklift, we'll see how it works. Okay, so this particular setup is all untested. I changed a bunch of stuff when I redone it. We'll see if it was worthwhile. I didn't have this table and all this wood would have fallen on the ground and you got to pick it up again so I built that table so you only have to pick it up once it's gonna work good caught on there you just kick it in reverse spits it back out and I got lights on it so if you're splitting at night usually I work all day and got to be able to split at night so that's about all there is to the wood splitter I think it's gonna work I like the shirt oh yeah new shirts turn around first time ever right there Calls the first wear of the I'm first the, merch the guinea pig so if you like them we'll have a website and buy them Thanks.